In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to create reverse reverbs in Cubase 4. Reverse reverbs, if you've, you've heard them probably a lot in commercial dance tracks, where you hear a sound and it's crescendoing or building in volume into itself. So it, it's the reverse effect to a reverb, which is a sound and then a natural decay afterwards. This is the natural decay feeding into the sound. And the way you create it, first of all, let's start off with an audio sample here. So I've started off with a little vocal sample. And what we're first going to do is we're going to create the effect the right way around with reverb. So I'm going to add in as an insert. You could also do this as a send. I'm going to use it as an insert. Cubase's Roomworks reverb. And we're going to select a big reverb patch. We're going to use something large like Hall Cathedral 2. And we're going to make sure that the mix is up. What you're looking for is that there's a really long reverb time and that you're using a pretty big space to do this with. You could do this with any reverb. I'm just using Cubase's built-in one because it's convenient. So let's listen to how that sounds. So you can hear there's a really large, long decay tail after the sound. Now we're going to take our sample and we're going to reverse it. And you do that by going down to process and reverse. Now let's listen to the sample. So the next step is to bounce that down to an audio file so we capture the reverb tail. And we're going to do that using our export audio mix down function. I'm going to call this reverse reverb one. We're going to save it into the project's audio folder. And we're going to select and make sure that it's going to be imported back into our project's pool and as an audio track. All right, now that we've got this back in here, we're going to normalize this so that its volume level is comparative to the other one. And I'm going to mute this, and we're going to listen to how this sounds. So it sounds exactly like this version here, but we've actually rendered out the audio tail. So now what we're going to do is we're going to reverse this sample to put it the right way around. So we're going to go to process and reverse. And now we're going to listen to the sample going forwards. Now the sample's playing the right way around. We get the reverse reverb tail and it's sounding exactly how we want. So that's how to do reverse reverbs in Cubase 4.